All right, everyone, a set booster box of Kaldheim is next up on the chopping block. Let's get into it. This is a set that I actually pretty much skipped earlier this year, and then later on discovered, hey, there's actually quite a few good cards in here that I kind of want. So let's see if I can get them. And I really, I do like the showcase versions of the cards that are coming out of here. So, hoping to catch some playables here. Let's see what we get here. Kaldheim, and as of, as usual, I'll be scanning up the rares, and seeing how we do. Tybalt, snow-covered islands. I'm going to be keeping those. Skull Raid, Draugr's, Valkyries, Clarion Spirit. I'll probably pull that for myself um, to build decks with. It's a usable card. You got an Elvish Warmaster and Maja. The Warmaster is 225. And the Bredegard Protector. That's pretty good. And Strictly Better Magic Minigame. Might have to try that at some point. We got here Inga and a foil mountain. Great. Intruder. We got some blue cards. We got Svela, Ice Shaper. Orvar, the all form. That's cool. Legendary Shapeshifter. And ooh, Turgrid. That's actually one that I was really after out of these boxes here. Um, this is super broken card. And uh, it's annoying to play against. And I was thinking of being one of those annoying people at some point. And there's Narfi. This is a pull for me. I don't know if it's worth a lot. Not really. But that's one that I would like to build decks around at some point. And that was a treasure token. All right. We're on our way. And uh, Path to the World Tree. So I definitely want to pull some lands out of here too. I think there are Pathways. And I definitely want a Faceless, faceless Haven. We've got Tyvar Kell, the uh, borderless version. Uh, I don't really play elves, but maybe I will. Now that I can have a nice planeswalker to go with it. we got a Yeti. Harnfell Horn of Bounty. Showcase foil, that's cool. Let's see if it will... I can't even scan it, so hold on, hold on. Scanner's very finicky when it comes to... Foils. All right, so we got to add that manually. Harnfell. Did I get on the wrong side? Oh gosh, no wonder I can't scan it. I'm showing it the wrong side. All right, Bergy, God of Storytelling. Let's see if it can do that a little better. There we go. Five bucks showcase, and it's a foil. Ten bucks. So that's a pretty good pick. Thanks for bearing with me. You guys are the best. And a foretell token there. So I'm going to get this eventually. I promise you. I'll get my stuff together. Reinforcements, floodplain, the three seasons. Yeah, the, uh, the sagas out of here are pretty decent as well. Battle of Frost and Fire. Not too much. Arnie Broken Brow. And a Blizzard Brawl. That's definitely like very much a staple right now. It's only a couple, like 32 cents, but I'm going to pull that for myself. So we got from the list, a Necrotic Sliver. I'll never turn down good slivers. Um, they really printed this in Commander. Interesting. I didn't realize there was a Commander uh, deck. So 49 cents for the list version, but I'll pull it. Maybe we'll get something better from the list out of here eventually Agar, one of the giants, right? Rhinewood Falls Disdainful Stroke Replicating Ring I didn't realize that was just an uncommon, let me check that Nope, it's nothing big, but I might use it Skemfar Avenger, and there's a pathway Promo Pack, it's been wanting to see Promo Packs like a lot Kaldheim version is just 45 cents, but Bark Channel Pathway Four ninety nine. Yep, these pathways are gonna be around quite a bit for a while, I think. Herald, 
king of skin far. It's just an uncommon. I might use him. All right. Moving right along. Oh, yeah. It's uh, Starnheim Unleashed. There's a forest. Got some white life gain stuff going on there. Arnie slays the troll. Rootless you. Savella. We got a Seeker's Chariot. That's definitely one that I will, would want for my own collection to build around. Three bucks. Sees a lot of play, I think, right now. Pilfering Hawk and a Glade Warden. Uh, let's see. We've got Cosima and a Mountain. Heist. Cole and the Bears of Litjara as a Saga. 40, again, that's a promo pack version, I'm sure. It's not even worth hardly looking at. The regular version is even less. Sculptor of Winter, um, pretty good um, mana dork, right? But it's not worth a whole lot. Jarl of the Forsaken. And a Replicating Ring uh, token. Oops. We've got Cyclone Summoner. Planes. Frost Augur. Battle of Frost and Fire. And a Certland. Slinger, these promo pack versions. Wish you could just take them out. Certland Flinger, probably nothing big there, right? No. And Squash. All run. Snakeskin Veil is a um, pretty good card. Just a common, but I'm going to keep it. And the World Tree. Um, you can do some stuff with that. Apparently, it's two ninety nine. Priest of the Haunted Edge is one I will pull. And we got a foil snakeskin veil. Let me pull that one up and see what it trends as a foil. It's not much more. Thirty three cents. Here we got a Brood Star, which is a card you would want to like cheat in a play or something, I guess. On the list, it's seventy five cents. So that's my. My rare from the list. I would have preferred something different. Just saying. Got a troll. That's Vela. Mass Vandal. I'll probably keep these changelings handy. Rune of Mortality is another one that I personally would like to build decks with Finn with. It's not worth much. But Finn the Fang Barrier is one I'm looking for as well. Just... To have binding, uh, binding the old gods, a very good card. I think sees quite a bit of play. Draugr Necromancer is only fifty cents, and that's it there. Berserker, Foil Island. So I probably should scan. I guess the foil ones at least. Let's see. Can it see it past the glare anyway? So it's a buck nineteen for the regular. The foil snow covered island is a little bit more, so buck forty one. Should probably be pulling the the foil ones at least. The trickster gods heist and icebreaker kraken and a glorious protector can be foretold. Augur, and an acorn catapult. So at least I got a second rare from the list out of the this box. That was a lot better. Uh, let's see, the list version, currently five something, so happier to have that probably than the brood star. All right, Redain, Snow Covered Plains. Keep the Vandal, Valkyrie, Renegade Reaper, Waking waking the Trolls, and another Replicating Ring, which I don't know why I thought this was a rare card for a while, but now I know. Hashup Oasis, that's what I was looking for, not really, to be honest.
Carter. Fall of the Imposter. Stronghold. Arnie Brokenbrow. And a Frostbite. Which is another one that... I don't know if it's worth more than a dollar. Nope. But as a common, it's pretty good. Kaya. Feed the Serpent. Virgin. Great Hall. Get the World Tree again. And Agar. Whoops. Bing. Agar the Freezing Flame. I don't think would be much, right? No box topper to save me like the last box I opened of Zendikar. There we go. There's a foil stamped Turgrid. So maybe that's worth a buck or two. The art card with the foil stamp. Yep, a couple bucks there. Fjord. Uh, let's see. I'll keep that one. There's a Nico Eris, Mythic Planeswalker. It, uh, the promo pack really and the regular one's only a buck so no one plays Nico apparently a foil three seasons and a berserker <clears throat> there's Nico again I'll keep a village rights for my own purposes in search of greatness. A little bit there. And an effigy and a crown of empires. Burning rune demon. Yeah, it's definitely a demon. Ice tunnel. Finn. I'll keep Finn. I'll keep a binding. Tundra Fumarole and Cole, the Forge Master. Really cool art. I like that. It's like very movie poster. All different faces in there. And the foil of Seeker Stereo. That's great. Um, so I will switch it to foil and I'll scan it again and see what the foil version is worth. If it can see it. Come on. Come on. I feel like it wants to. No, I gotta put it in manually. This is the regular one, but it's a foil. 389. All right, moving along. There's Finn. These, the art cards are nice to get to see the art a little closer at least. Take those. Starnheim Aspirant, Varigoth, Blood Sky Sire, and a Canopy Tactician. Promo pack, would you cut it out? Like, what even is the difference? 239. The Tactician, 88 cents, and a Mistwalker. Shapeshifter, I'm going to keep it. I like shapeshifters. That is Eradicator Valkyrie. Of course it is. I'll take the Draugr. I like zombies. Reckless Crew. Promo pack. Scanner. You're starting to bug me here. Dark Boar Pathway, the borderless. Excellent. Yeah, that looks good. 729. So is that, I think that's different art than the regular, right? I'm just going to look. Yep, yep, totally different artwork. That's great. So, definitely like the, the pathways. And then a couple of zombie priests. I'll take those. And a blight sickle, sure. Let's definitely reprint this card from Shadowmoor. Um, equipped creature gets plus one and has wither. Okay. And then you equip it for two. It's slightly less boring than a regular common equipment from any other set, I suppose. 
Not by much, though. Well, look at this guy. That is metal right there. Varagoth Blood Sky Sire. So this is the showcase art. Man, that's just like straight off of like a Cannibal Corpse album cover or something. Chasm. Maja. Righteous Valkyrie. The, the card I definitely would like to have in my collection. To, oh gosh, the promo pack. Come on. Still pretty good. Four bucks. Immersturm Raider and a Berserker. Alright, one stack left out of here. That is Vengeful Reaper, of course. Behold the Multiverse. Some Ravens. Doing their Raven stuff. There's Finn. Ascendant Spirit. Troll. Valor of the Worthy and a Spirit Token. Wow, that's cool. Uh, Skimfar Elder Hall. Looking good. The island. I'll take a Frostbite. Invasion of the Giants. The Showdown of the Scald and a Cleaving Reaper. So what's the rhyme or reason between getting a second rare? I, I don't know. I'm not going to try to figure it out right now. I'm just not that smart. Berserker. Oops. Almost dropped that whole thing. What, what are these guys doing? Haggy Mob. Did I get the Packmate twice there? No, look. There's the Fearless Pup and the Packmate. They're just howling. That's what the wolves do, right? Of course. Redain, God of the Worthy. Cool. Yeah, I definitely want this card too. And there's a Showcase Fan. So that makes my day. That's great. I'll use that card as well. Uncommon. Best Gear Shield Mate. Frostbite. Binding. Toski, Bearer of Secrets, and Allrend. There we go. Promo Pack. Enough already. All right, 761 for Toski, and all run God of the Cosmos, and he's Haka, the Raven on the other side. He's a whole buck. He's not has his epiphany yet, apparently. That's where the money is, I guess. The Shapeshifter, Mass Vandal, yep. Got a Icebreaker Kraken and Vega. I think Vega the Watcher, very cool. I do like the showcase art in this set. That uh, got a foil stamp. It's Coma. Is that, did it see it right? It actually does not give me the option for the foil stamp version, so it's probably worth like a buck or so, right? Agar. We got a borderless something coming up. Goldspan Dragon. Well, that's a keeper. Um, this card, I think, is worth uh, just a little bit now. Uh, it's kind of the best card in the set. Well, being thirty-three fifty-nine, I guess I better get a sleeve for that, right? So, yep, I'll keep that one as well. That's a winner. Hengegate Pathway and a... F Whoops, there's more than one thing there. Hengegate Pathway, the Borderless 620. That's a great pack. Inga Rune Eyes. Uh, probably nothing big. And then a Foil Showdown of the Scalds. And a List Card. Bink, uh, Foil Version, probably not a whole lot more. The Alpha Kavu. So what would have made that pack amazing was that if that list card was more amazing. Run ashore. Maja. Crush the weak. Orvar the old form. I'm going to actually pull that crush the weak too. Let's scan that real quick. It's nothing. 
Orvar the All Form. Showcase. Yep, 255. Frostbite and the Dread Rider. There's a uh, Tyvar again. Demon Bolt. Skimfar Avenger. Ice Blind Pillar. And the Mists. Righteous Valkyrie. Sculptor. Spare Sentinel is another one I would pull just as a common. Sigrid, God Favored. And Waking the Trolls. Another double rare pack here. Dude, the promo pack version just needs to go. Waking the Trolls. Pink. Funeral Longbow. And a Prismatic Geoscope. Another rare from the list from Commander uh, 2017 or 16. Here's Battlefield Tapped. It has Domain. You can add X mana. Any combination of colors to your mana pool where X is the number of basic land types among lands you control. Five color deck, you could probably make that happen pretty nicely on turn five. Um, so maybe that's worth a little bit. It's worth a dollar. Well, the original one is anyway. The list version is about the same, so it's cool. I'll take it. Got quite a pile going on here. Let me stack this up. And we'll open up one more pack here. This is it. Gates of Istvel, Demon Bolt again. I think I was going to pull those. I may go back through here and find other stuff that's good. Rune Forge Champion, and Morit of the Frost is a shapeshifter. Nothing big, and that is pretty much it for this box of Kaldheim set boosters. Uh, pretty good, I think. I got. Uh, Definitely like the best card in the set and several others that I was actually looking for. Um, and useful cards like Pathways are never going to go out of style. Right. So anyway, thanks for watching and I will catch you on another video.